God bless you, saints. God bless you all. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, we just want to start the service and immediately invite the minister. Uh, we do appreciate that the power is back and uh, we trust that uh, we will not have any other interruption. So as we start the service, uh, let's just sing the song that says, Be still and know that I am the Lord. God had gathered, and we will tell the story of how we overcome, for we'll understand it better by and by. Oh, we are often tossed and driven on the restless sea of time, somber skies and holding temper of succeed, a bright sunshine. In that land of perfect day, when the mists are rolled away, we will understand it better by, oh sing by and by, by and by, oh yes, when the morning, oh yes, when all the saints of God are gathered, and we will tell the story of how we overcome. For oh, we'll understand it better by and by. Oh, we are often destitute of the things that life demands. Want of food and want of shelter, past the hills and barren lands. But we trust in the Lord and according to His word, we will understand it better by. Oh, sing by and by, by and by when the morning, oh yes, we know the same of God a garden, and we will tell the story of how we overcome, for we'll understand it better by and by. Oh, trials that on every hand, and we cannot understand all the ways 
that God would lead us to the blessed promised land. Body guides us we desire, and we'll follow till we change. For we'll understand it. Sing by and by and by and by and by and by and
Baba wa mbingu wa thamani so Tunaya shukran sana During this Easter Wakati wa pasaka To come together to worship you Kuja pamoja kwa ajili ya kukwabudu To glorify your holy name Kulitukuza jina lako takati Magnify your name Ulihimindi lo jina Talk about you father Kuzumzia wewe e baba Like Cleopas and his friends Kama Cleopa na marabu Their way to Emmaus Wakiwa jiani kuelekea Emmaus During such an Easter Wakati wakama uwa pasaka They talked about you Wali kuzumzia wewe Lord you came out of hiding Na wewe buwana ukatoka mafichoni And you joined them Ukajiunga nao At the end of the day in the evening You broke bread in a special way To reveal the sign of the resurrection And they knew that you had risen from the dead And you are alive forevermore It is Easter again Father We want to talk about you Come out of hiding Father Come here Lord Jesus Christ And take over everything Come and take your place in our hearts That as I stand here to minister Precious Heavenly Father Overshadow me with the Holy Spirit And overshadow my brother and my sister Those that are listening in Physically and by live stream Wherever they are Father May you come down now And take your place In our hearts We commit the reading of the scripture in your hands We commit the quotes in your hands And everything that we shall do here May they bring glory and honor To your holy name We thank you Father As we commit these meetings In your hands And we look forward to a wonderful time Of fellowship Come Lord Jesus among us We pray all this Believing and trusting In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen You may be seated for a while Amen Amen I greet you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Na wasalimu kwa 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 It is an honor because it means that your pastor has recognized a gift that can be useful ametambua kipawa ambacho kinaweza kuwa cha manufaa the body of Jesus Christ so it's not a small matter kwa hivyo sinja mbodogo it is actually a big it's a big thing kwa hakika ni jambo kubo sana and I'm happy and this church looks very wonderful na furaha kandisa hila unekana lajamu kandisa it is clean the pulpit is very good I'm encouraged and I can say I have got all the implements I require kila kila kifana chumitaji so this is a wonderful place to be and I'm very happy to be here during this particular time my wife sent greetings And, 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 and she's very happy that I'm here So you can be rest assured Everything is okay I came with a team from Kikuyu Church If you could just stand up please I want to, 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 to recognize the team that is coming with me here You can see uh, I have got four decons here I've got brother Wanyoike here and his wife is somewhere you know. And uh, we, see, uh, the wife is there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, I have my daughter here. Can you appreciate my daughter here? Oh, Amen. Mr. Lydia. Lydia Wanyoike. Wanyoike. Na tafuta ngombe tu. Hapa na. Asa. Stake kurudi na heye uko. Nyinyo nyo mjua zile mutafanya. And my son is over here. I'm very happy. And uh, there's another young man. I, I, I stay with the other side. It's called Stephen. So I am so happy. Waivo anafrahi. In your meetings. And the good thing, I'm not a stranger. I'm a friend to all of you. I have one pre I preached here, one brother invited me. So I'm not really a stranger in this particular place. I know there was a, a, a power blackout that did not dampen your spirit. It is just evidence that great things are going to happen in this meeting. Amen. Amen. So we are so happy to be here. This brother Isaiah, one of our trustees, and uh, he's an interpreter, you know him, and we are very happy uh, to be here together. Amen. Amen. And now, we, we have a 
subject Tunalosomo. and because we have missed the first part of Na the morning kwa I understand I can go at around 1 then we, we have a lunch break alafu tu and we return around either 2.30 or 3 ya pata saa nane, and saa uh, I believe that God Na Mungu will say something kitu. that will be a great blessing to all kitu. of you Kila moja wetu. Amen. Amen Now Sasa, we are going to read from Joel chapter 2 Tutasoma kitabu cha Joel Shall begin with Joel chapter 1 first Tuanzie Joel sura ya kwanza eh, verse 4 mstari wa 4 and then we shall go and read Joel chapter 2 Na kisha tusome Joel sura ya 2 And then we shall read Malachi chapter 4 Na tutasoma kitabu cha Malaki sura ya 4 to 6 Mstari wa 5 hadi wa 6 Those three those three scriptures Maandiko hayo matatu are connected Yameunganika Shall we stand Tusema mimi nibiguni yetu As we read the scripture Tuposimama maandiko Ah uh, from the book of Joel Kuroa kitabu cha Joel uh, chapter 1 sura ya kwanza verse 4 mstari wa 4 this is easter meeting hii ni mikutano ya pasaka and we want to talk about restoration na tungependa kuzungumzia yale marejesho and so we shall see that we are talking about resurrection na hivyo basi tunaona pia tunazungumzia ufufuo amen amen all right now we are set sasa tuko tayari that which the palm worm has left has the locust eaten and that which the locust had left had the canker worm eaten and that which the canker worm had left had the caterpillar eaten yaliosazwa na tunutu yameliwa na nzige yaliosazwa na nzige yameliwa na parare yaliosazwa na parare yameliwa na madumadu amen amen uh, let's go to verse 7 twende mstari wa 7 all these insects how are the water is one insect ni mdudu moja tu only in three stages is four, four stages katika hatua nne so kwa hivyo we continue to say tunaendelea kusema he had laid my vine waste and backed my fig tree he had made it clean bare cast it away the branches there of are made white amen ameuharibu mzabibu wangu ameuvunja mtini wangu ameyaondoa magamba yake kabisa ameuangusha chini matawi yake yamefanywa kuwa meupe yani huyu mdudu amekula hiyo muti this insect has destroyed this tree hata hata amengoa hii branches na kila kitu the branches matawi inakaa tu nyeupe hakuna kile chobaki he has laid my vine waste he has made the tree the mzabibu wake umeharibika ume, ume amen amen na in joel chapter 2 katika joel sura ya pili verse 25 mstari wa 25 another what the bible is saying here kuna neno mengine bibili nasema hapa Uh, don't be frustrated msishushwe moyo because of what the insects have done kwa sababu ya kile wadudu wamefanya there is a promise pana ahadi the promise says ahadi nasema and i will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten and the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palm worm my great army which i sent among you nami nitarudishie hiyo miaka yote iliyoliwa na nzige na parare na madumandu na tunutu jeshi langu kubwa nililo lituma kati yenu verse 26 msari wa 26 and you shall eat in plenty oh, eh? after i restore what this is you have done you shall eat in plenty mtakula chakula tele and be satisfied na kushiba and praise the name of the lord na kuliamini jina la bwana mungu wenu that wanderers with you aliwatendea mambo ya ajabu and my people na watu wangu shall never be ashamed hawata tahayari kamwe and you shall know that i am in the midst of israel nanyi mtajua kuwa mimi ni katikati ya israeli i am the lord your god and none else and my people shall never be ashamed amen now uh, 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 we go to uh, no i will read the other verses later let's go to malachi chapter 4 tuende malaki sura ya 4 Uh, Malachi is the last book in the Old Testament. Malachi ni kitabu cha mwisho katika kano la kale. 
Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a cash. Angalieni intaopelekea Elijah Nabi, kabla haijaja ile siku ya buwana ilio kuu na ya kuogofia. Nae ataigeuza mioyo ya baba iwaeleke watoto wao na mioyo ya watoto iwaeleke baba zao ili nisije nikaipiga dunia kwa laana. The Lord bless the reading of the word. Bwana bariki usomaji wa nulake tunaweza kuketi. In slide number one. Karika onyesho la kwanza. My subject is entitled The Restoration of the Bride Tree. Amen. There's one thing I want to ask you. This is a title of one of the messages. And I know you have read the book before. Don't assume. This title carries a big mystery that we want to look at in this particular convention or meeting in this Eastern The restoration of the bride tree. Amen. Amen. Now, Sasa, in the Bible, Biblia, human beings binadamu, are likened to trees. Wanafaranishwa na miti. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 1, Biblia nasema katika kitabu cha Zaburi sura ya kwanza. The man who does not walk in the kinds of the ungodly. Heri yeye ambaye anatembea si katika kusajiliko la wasiwasi. He shall be like a tree. Atakuwa kama mti uliopandwa kwenye kingo za mto Yordani. The human beings. Hivyo basi binadamu are trees. Wanafananishwa na miti. Now here, sasa hapa we have a tree. Pana mti called the bride tree. Huitwa mti biharusi. We know that a bride. Tujua biharusi is a woman ni mke chosen from other women alieteuliwa kutoka kwa wanawake wengi for marriage kwa anjili ya doa so hivyo basi a bride tree mti biharusi is a church ni kanisa chosen from other churches lililoteuliwa kutoka kwa makanisa mengi for marriage kwa ajili ya doa and we know that natojua there is a spiritual marriage pana ndoa ya kiroho called the marriage of the lamb iitwayo ndoa ya mwana kondoo the lamb is Jesus Christ ni Yesu Christu because John said kwa sabu Yohana alisema Yohana mbatizayo wakasema behold the lamb of God tazama mwana kodo wa mungu ayodoyo dhambi za ulimwengu so Jesus is the lamb of God kiyo basi Yesu ni mwana kodo wa mungu and we know we have a marriage of the lamb natuwa juu wa kwamba panandoa ya mwana kodo kitabu cha ufunuo sura ya kuminatisa that there is a marriage of the lamb kwa panandoa ya mwana kodo so for the lamb to marry kiyo basi kwa mwana kodo kuhoa kwa Yesu kuhoa there must be a bride lazima pawe na biyarusi na huyu biyarusi He is not any woman. He is not any church. He is a church called out of the church. And prepared for marriage. And because this church is made up of human beings. It is called a bride tree. Mti biarusi. Amen. I think that. So please let us understand. Kwa hivyo tuelewe. That there is a bride tree. Mti biarusi. Amen. Amen. Now. Sasa. Why do why is it also called a tree? Ni kwa nini pia kanisa hili laitwa mti? Jesus said. Yesu alisema, eh, I am mimi. Jesus said. Yesu akasema, I am mimi ndiye the vine. Mzabibu and you are the branches. Nyinyi ndio matawi. So the vine kwa hivyo mzabibu plus the branches pamoja na matawi yake gives you vinatengeneza a tree mti amen. Amen. amen so we know kwa hivyo tujua we sisi are the branches ndio matawi and Jesus na Yesu is the, 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 the vine ule mzabibu so hivyo when basi, you have the vine ukiwa na mzabibu and the branches na matawi yake you have got what is known as una kile kinachoitwa the tree 
mti of life wa uzima the tree mti of life wa uzima is made up of two trees unaojumulisha miti miwili lakini miti hii ikiwa mti mmoja the vine mti mzabibu is called the bridegroom tree uitoe mti bwana harusi the vine is called mzabibu ni the bridegroom mti bwana harusi and the branches na matawi yake are called yanaitwa the bride mti tree biarusi and when you have the bride tree ukiwa na mti biarusi together pamoja na the bridegroom tree mti bwana harusi you have the tree of life na mti wa uzima which is called uitwao the vine mzabibu and the branches na matawi yake and jesus said yesu akasema i am the vine mimi ndiye mzabibu nanyi ni matawi so the vine if you must mzabibu hauwezi kunawili pasipo na matawi na matawi hawezi kunawili pasipo na mzabibu lazima viandamane ili kuweza kuzaa matunda and for the fruit to be produced na kwa matunda kuzaliwa miti hii miwili bridegroom tree mti bwana harusi the bride tree na mti biarusi lazima iwe pamoja when they are together ikiwa pamoja inaitwa mti wa uzima hallelujah amen can somebody say amen to that amen we are just doing introduction tunafanya tu tangulizi so we have to with me kwa hivyo kana that particular introduction katika utangulizi huu so this a bride tree pana mti uh, biarusi now biarusi. we say like this tukasema hivi god started this bride tree mungu alianzisha mti huu biarusi on the day of pentecost ile siliweza ku, kuanzishwa so please remember that kwa hivyo kumbuka hilo god planted mungu alipanda uh, I, i know you are taking notes najua mnaandika mahali god planted mungu aliupanda the bride tree mti biarusi on the day ile siku of pentecost ya pentecote very important amen muhimu sana hili right amen he planted a bride tree akapanda mti biarusi he started the church kumaanisha kwamba alianzisha kanisa he started the new testament church akaanzisha kanisa la gano jipya on the day of ile siku ya pentecost pentecote this tree mti huu I hope you are following me. Natumai tunafuata kwa utaratibu. Survived ukaweza kuhimidi in three church ages. Kwa yapata vizazi vitatu vya kanisa. Ephesian churches. Kanisa la Waefeso. We had Simna. Kanisa la Simna. And we had Pegamas. Na kanisa la Pagamo. Part of it. Sehemu yake. But unfortunately, lakini kwa bahati mbaya, towards the end of Pagamos, pale kuelekea mwisho wa kanisa la Pagamo, specifically in history, sana sana kihistoria, in 325, wanasema ni miaka 325 AD, baada ya kifo. Are we together? Amen. 325, miaka 325 baada ya kifo. A terrible insect. Ndudu hatari. In three stages of metamorphosis. Akiwa katika hatua tatu za kubadilika. Attacked this tree. Akashambulia mti huu and killed it. Na akauua. Amen. So the tree, hivyo basi mti, the bride tree, ile mti biarusi died. Ukafa. In 325 Katika mwaka huu wa 325 baada ya kifo. And na remained ukasalia dead katika hali hii ya kifo thousands of years. Kwa miaka maelfu in a period of history. Katika kipindi cha historia kijulikanacho kama kizazi cha giza. It's like the church didn't exist. Ni kana kwamba kanisa halikuwepo. In the dark ages. Katika kizazi hiki cha giza. Kanisa likasalia likiwa limekufa. This insect ndudu huyu is actually in three in four stages kwa hakika yuko katika hatua nne za mageuzo that we have seen the names tuliviona majina lake majina uh, yake if you don't remember the it is called uh, locust iwapo ukumbuki majina usiwe na shaka anaitwa uh, paranzige parale tulutu uh, majina hayo yote yana gazia tu mdudu mmoja now this Sasa, insect huyo mdudu is actually one insect kwa hakika ni mdudu mmoja and it is called na huyo mdudu jina lake denomination anaitwa the hem 
Amen. Amen. Denomination is the insect. Huyu mdudu anaitwa dhahabu. Which ate and this tree. Kula ule mti. And killed it. Na akaua. In 325 AD. Katika mwaka huo 325. But as we shall see later. Lakini jinsi tutakaviona baadaye. The life that was in the bride tree. Ule uhai uliokuwa ndani ya mti biharusi. Escaped into the root. Ulikwepa ukajificha ndani ya mizizi. Amen. Eh? Amen. It escaped into ukakwepa the root. Na kujificha kwenye mizizi. And God has promised. Mungu ameahidi. He promised it. Like, Aliahidi kwamba I will restore. Mimi nitarejesha. This particular bride tree. Huu mti biharusi. Are we there? Amen. Now the purpose of this sermon. Sasa kusudi la mahubiri haya. Is to show ni kutuonyesha the restoration yale marejesho of the bride tree. Ya mti huu biharusi. Which I can speak with confidence. Ambao unaweza kunena kwa ushupavu. It is not clearly understood. Kwamba marejesho haya hayaeleweki dhahiri. Kwa mimi. Amen. The restoration of the bride tree. Yale marejesho ya mti biharusi. Is not clearly hayaeleweki dhahiri. And by God's grace. Na kwa neema ya Mungu. He will allow. Iwapo atatuhusu. I will try. Nitajaribu. Talk about. Kuzungumzia. The mystery. Kuhusu ile siri. The restoration. Iliyo chini ya marejesho ya mti biharusi. This will help each one of us. Hii itatuwezesha sote clearly understand the restoration of the bride tree. Amen. The restoration of the bride tree is an important doctrine of the end time message believer. It is so critical that because it is not clearly understood it divided message believers but by the grace of God now that rapture is at hand God has come down to demystify ili kuonoa na kuelewa hii sadi we have the right teaching and the right doctrine on the restoration of the bride kuhusu marejesho wa mti biharusi that means that the groups which have split they will come together in unity because the mystery now has been revealed as it was given to the seventh angel if you are with me let me see your hand I hope you are getting what I am saying Yeah. Are we together? Amen. Because we are told that we shall be united uh, by 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 the revelation of the word. One faith. One Lord. One baptism. Amen. I hope we are all together. Now so I want to talk about because I, I want to introduce to you this particular bride tree. And I want to begin by looking at the definition of restoration ufafanuzi wa neno hili understand restoration the definition of restoration and you can't understand it when you are asleep na uwezi kuelewa kama unazinzia restoration marejesho of the bride tree biharusi are you ready now na tumai tuko tayari oh man let us give us slide number 11 amen amen Now, Sasa, I rushed home. Not me, that is the prophet. No, yeah, yeah, and nabi. got my dictionary. Na kamusi. And so forth. And some scripture notes. Na ya and ya begin ya to kikulia. copy some things down. Na kuandika mambo fulani chini. And then I got Webster's dictionary. Kisha ile kamusi ya Webster. To find out the right definition I... for restore kutafuta maana halisi ya neno hili rejesha to restore means kurejesha manake to return to the former owner ni kumrudishia mwenyeji wa asili that's the first that's the first meaning of restoration ya kwanza ya marejesho is to return to the former owner kumrejeshea yule mbiliki wa asili au to bring back kurudisha tena to the former estate of condition katika hali yake ile ya asili na i want to say something here nipenda kusema kitu hapa for me kwa i will not use the word or sitatumia neno hili au i will i would want to use the word and nitatumia neno na because as you will see later kwa sababu tutakaviona baadaye restoration will be made up of two main things apart mawili. from returning the charge that was zaidi ya kurudisha kanisa lililokuwa the church will also 
be restored back to the owner. Are we, are we singing together? So that is the meaning of the word to restore. And we can enforce a claim to be restored. Now, that is what Webster say the word restore means. To bring back to the former owner or to bring back to a former state of condition. Are you with me? Amen. Now, so in other words, uh, if, let me say, now if this pen yeah. was here and we say this is the rightful place for this mark pen, then if this pen falls there, then we take another pen and we put here. That is not restoration. That is called replacement. replacement. And that's very important in our lesson. Now we can Kwa see here. Eh, let me let me see. Alright. Uh, there's a big difference. Restoration is not replacement. Are we seeing it together? Now uh, we are saying. Amen. There are two words. Kuna maneno mawili hapa. Restoration. Kurejeshwa. And there's another word called. Na kuna neno lingine hapa. Replacement. La kueka kingine. What I have chabadala. done here Kina is called. Kina limefanya hapa ni kuchukua. Replacement. Kala mnyingine kaiweka mahali pa. God didn't say. Mungu wakusema. I will replace. Mimi intaweka kitu kingine pale. <laughs> he said. Alisema. I will restore. Atarejesha. Are you getting that? Amen. Now the right thing for me to do. Kwa hivyo jambo bora laki kufanya. Is to pick up the same pen from where it is fallen. Then I bring back to where it was. I have returned the pen to its former state of condition. And therefore, the act of bringing it back is called restoration. When I pick the pen, that's not restoration. When I do see, when it reaches. Here, it is not yet restored. When it comes here, it is not yet restored. But when I place it here, it is restored. Therefore, there is the process of restoration. There is the act of restoration. Therefore, Martin Luther, that was not restoration. Wesley, that was not restoration. Pentecost, that was not restoration. But today, it is restoration Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Amen. because then we have to understand what restoration is all about so the church is restored through three stages but unless the three stages are over it is not restoration yet if it is not restoration we call it the process of restoration but one and we call it restoration then it comes back to what it is then I can begin to baptize this pen with names this pen that fell I can call it alpha pen when I pick it and I bring it and I put it here I call it omega Therefore, Omega Pen is not a different pen from Alpha Pen. Omega Pen is Alpha Pen restored. That's why there is no difference between the Alpha Bride and the Omega Bride. The two must exactly be the same. Amen. <laughs> I hope you are with me. Now listen close. Before this pen fell, 
I used something nilitumia kitu fulani put this pen here kuiweka hii kalamu hapa amen amen and when the pen fell na kalamu ilipoanguka i cannot use the same method siwezi kutumia utaratibu ule ule i place this pen here niliotumia kuwekelea hapa i have to come up with another way yani ibidi niibuke na kitu kingine ya kuirudisha kalamu when i put the pen here originally nilichukua kalamu hapa katika kimsingi nilikuwa tu nimesimama i stretched my arm and put the pen here kwa wangu nikawekelea kalamu now after it is falling lakini sasa ikianguka there are other things i am going to do kama mambo mengine nitafanya ndipoe ili nirudishe kalamu hii hapa kwa hiyo utaratibu na ujia tuweza kuleta biarusa kwa kalamu ya alfa sio utaratibu ule ule kwa hiyo kalamu ya omega nita ya kwa kalamu ya omega kalamu ya omega ile ya alfa ikiwa lakini njia ya kuyeleta alfa kwa omega ni sauti sijui kama tuko pamoja hope you together on that i'm just doing introduction and then i i hope you are be together tutakuwa pamoja therefore we have the alpha bride na bi harusi wa alpha siku ya pentecost and today na leo we have the omega tuko na bi harusi wa omega i want each and every one of us ukipenda kila mmoja wetu to know that elewe. the omega bride bi harusi wa omega leo is the alpha bride ni yule bi harusi wa alpha was there on the day of pentecost kote and fell akaanguka and has been restored lakini amerejeshwa the method of restoration utaratibu wa kumrejesha is different ni tofauti let me not use the word method wacha nitumie the message ujumbe of restoring wa kumrejesha the, the the alpha pen kile kalamu ya alpha the omega kuwa kalamu ya omega is different ni tofauti from the message na ule ujumbe that was there uliokuweka the alpha pen na ile kalamu ya alpha kabla ya Okay. Amen. Are we together? Amen. But lakini in order for me ili mimi to restore nirejeshe the alpha pen ile kalamu ya alpha become omega ile kalamu ya omega I have to change tactics yani bini ni badili binu the tactics are different binu sasa ni tofauti but the pen is the same lakini kalamu ni ile ile So if I use all tactics I will kale, not restore the resha kalamu hii it will remain itasalia fallen mahali ilipoanguka therefore hivyo basi the message for the alpha bride ujumbe wa biarusi wa alpha is different ni tofauti from the message na ujumbe wa the omega bride kwa biarusi wa omega because the message for the omega bride ujumbe wa biarusi wa omega is meant to restore the alpha bride to resha biarusi wa alpha ili afanyike biarusi wa omega amen amen kama tuko pamoja Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Just allow me to put my coat here. Ruhusu nitoe koti. And then we can now see. Ili tuweze kuona. If the church is with me shout amen. 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 Restoration marejesho is not sio replacement kuweka kingine cha badala so the omega bride kwa hivyo biarusi wa omega is the alpha bride ni yule biarusi wa alpha restored akiwa amerejeshwa Now I you know what is confusing you and I, I don't blame you. Listen, listen, we are not restoring human beings. Sisi haturejeshi binadamu. We are restoring the word that was in human beings. Tunalirejesha neno lilokuwa ndani ya binadamu wakati ule. The human beings will be different. Binadamu atakuwa tofauti. The word will not be different. Lakini neno litasalia kwa neno ile. The word which was there. Kwa hivyo neno lilokuwa pale katika kanisa la mwanzo. Roho mtakatifu lazima tutumie mbinu tofauti 
Amen. Eh, 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 are you seeing that? Oh, no, yeah. Alpha has become Omega. You know, Alpha mekua Omega. People will ask me. Watu anaza kuniuliza. Where is Paul? Paulo yuko hapa. Where is Peter? Peter yuko hapa. They have been restored. Kama wamerejeshwa. You want to see them. Tungependa kuwaona. Paul and Peter. Paulo na Peter. Are not restored. Hawajarejeshwa. They were human beings. Walikuwa binadamu. But what is restored? Lakini kilichorejeshwa. Neno lilikuwa ndani ya wanadamu hao. But at the same word that was in Paul. Ndio ndio lilikuwa ndani ya wale. It will be in you. It will be in Peter. It will be in Peter. It will be in you. It will be in Virgin Mary. It was in Salome. It will be in you. So in the restore, it is a word being restored. It is not the flesh that is being restored. Because what happens? Peter and Paul. They were human beings. 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 Kwa agano jiria kutoka kwa makaburi yao na marejesho ya mtu biarusi ni marejesho ya neno linokuwa ndani ya kanisa la mwanzo neno hilo litaishi tena katika biarusi wa wakati wa mwisho hiyo tuko pamoja ana wada subitubilea ningependa tuko pamoja kwa hilo right let's go to slide number Let's go to Amen. Okay, let, let's go to 14 first. Amen. For you to understand this subject. Kwa kuwei kuelewa somo hili. You must agree with me. Lazima tukubaliane. Restoration. Kwa ba marejesho. And resurrection. Na ufufuo. Mean the same thing. Na maanisha kitu kimoja. Amen. Are we there? Amen. So we are talking about the restoration of Yale the bride. Yale ya mti biarusi. Is the same as saying kusema, the resurrection of the bride. Wa mti biarusi. Why? Kwa nini? The bride tree died in 325 AD. So if it comes up again, what has tena? it done? It has resurrected. Imefufuka. So the word restoration and resurrection they mean the same. Thing. What is with Anna? Amen. Let us go on now 15. Tuendele. Look. Angalia. Resurrect that. Fufua hilo. If this book. Kitabu hiki. I've already demonstrated that. Tayari nimeleza hili. Kutukumia kalamu. Kalela say. If this pen. Kalamu hii. Falls to the floor. Ikianguka sakafuni. Now to take another pen. Sasa kuchukua kalamu nyingine. And take in its place. Na uiweke pa alipake. It is it is in resto. Hayo sio marejesho. And what is another word? Neno lingine ni It is in sio risa ufufuo. Amen. How many people believe Wakapi, that restoration and resurrection na ufufuo ni kitu kimoja? Amen. If you don't you are an unbeliever. Kama wewe huamini labda wewe si muamini hiyo. Maana imeandikwa hapa. Eh? Are you there? Amen. Okay? You have to bring the same one up. Unafaa ulete ile ile iliyoanguka hapa juu. Amen. Amen. So, basi, if the church died, iwapo kanisa lilikufa. Through the dark age, kupitia nyakati za giza, and become completely pagan na back here. Na kabisa kafira wakati. Then the restoration, basi marejesho. The prophet say that the church is a reformation to reform. Marekebisho, kurekebisha. But to be lakini kurekebisho. And born again is two different tena, things. Ni mambo okay. tofauti. Le, le, okay. They brought back a reformation. Walisema marekebisho, kurekebisha. Getting away from a lot of the idols and so forth. Kuondoa miungu ya mifano na mambo never mbine. brought the Holy Ghost back in the Lakini church. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Brother and sister. Can you see? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to slide number 19. Amen. 19, 19. Okay, uh, I'm going to read. Uh, okay, 19. Let's drop to 20 to save time. Amen. Then 21. There is something that is underlined. Now, Sasa, Christianity Ukristu is based upon resurrection. Umeweka misingi katika ufufuo. Not replacement. Sio kuweka kingine cha badala. Amen. Amen. Now if this falls, Sasa hii kianguka. Now to take this and put its place. Kuchukua kuirudisha mahali pake. Now if this falls, hii kianguka. To take to take this. Kuchukua nyingine and put in it is that is not 
huo resurrection sio ufufuo that is hapo umeweka kiingine nafasi yake the resurrection lakini ufufuo is to bring up ni kuichukua one ile ile iliyokuweko sell down na ikaanguka the same Jesus Yesu yule yule that went into the grave aliyeingia kaburini come out of the grave anatoka nje ya kaburi akiwa na vidonda vya misumari mikono yake au utaweza kusema Jesus was restored Yesu alirejeshwa on the third day katika ile siku ya tatu Jesus was resurrected au Yesu alifufuka on the third day katika siku ya tatu so resurrection hivyo kufuka is not replaced sio kuweka kiingile kwa nafasi yake Amen. Amen. If we are together say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Think about it now. Fikiria jambo hilo sasa. For a few seconds. Kwa muda mchache. A question comes. Swali linaibuka. Why couldn't God replace? Ni kwa nini Mungu hangeweza kuleta mwingine the alpha bride kwa yule biharusi wa alpha with the omega? Amletee mwingine Why did he resurrect? Ni kwa nini alifufua? In other one, kwa nini? Why is the omega? Biharusi wa omega the same as the alpha. Anafanana na yule biharusi wa alpha? I will tell you why. Tawambia jibu. The alpha bride biharusi wa alpha on the day of pentecost ile siku ya pentekote is the standard church huyo ndio kanisa ama ndicho ndicho kanisa la kiwango amen you get the that for amen <laughs> the, the alpha bride yule biharusi wa pale mwanzo alpha wewe andika notes usiwe na wasiwasi amen just write this unyesha. usiwe na wasiwasi you'll be shown the evidence the alpha bride biharusi wa pale mwanzo alpha is ndi the standard church ndiye kiwango cha kanisa Yaani when we say standard tunaposema kiwango it is the point of reference inamaanisha kwamba hiki ndicho kiwango cha kuelekea kwa kanisa cha kanisa any future church kanisa lolote lingine lolote lile should not differ halifai kuwa tofauti from the standard na kanisa hili la kiwango for it to be a bride tree ili kuwa mti biharusi it must be lazima of the same standard liwe na kiwango hicho hicho did you hear that ona hilo Now sasa that doesn't mean hii imaanishi the messages to the two are the same kwa majumbe kwa makanisa haya mawili zinafanana the message that produces the omega bride ujumbe unaomleta pia harusi wa omega different from the in, from the message that produces the alpha ni tofauti na ujumbe unaomleta pia harusi wa alpha but the alpha bali ule alpha being the standard charge akiwa ndiye kanisa la kiwango whatever method you use usaratibu wote unaotumia to restore kurejesha you must come up with lazima upate the standard kiwango kile kile hapo ndugu pamoja amen all right amen. I, i will show you that nitaonyesha hilo katika muda usio kwa mrefu give me from the table 66-4 66-4 Ah uh, all right Are we ready? Amen. And please let us read very carefully. Tusomeni hapa kwa umakinifu kabisa. Right. Amen. Now we know exactly from the word. Sasa tunajua kwa hakika kutoka kwa neno which was recorded by the Holy Spirit. Ambao ulirekodiwa na Roho Mtakatifu. How that the first or oh, original church jinsi ambavyo kanisa lile la kwanza la asili was founded. Lilianzishwa. How God manifested jinsi Mungu alivyodhihirishwa himself in her. Mwenyewe dadi yake. The word can't change neno haliwezi kubadilika or be changed au libadilishwe the word kwa sababu neno is ni god mungu now we don't have to read that let's go we know that in the beginning was the word okay tunajua yohana moja moja down a bit i'll tell you where we shall read okay Tendale. there we are amen uh, le, le, okay le, after the, the readings please bring it yes amen listen close sikiliza kwa makini Thus, hivyo basi what the church was at Pentecost kile kilichokuwa kanisa wakati wa Pentecote is the standard dicho kiwango Kasikia hiyo Amen that is the pattern hiyo ndio mtindo there is no other pattern hamna mtindo mwingine no matter what the scholars say haijalishi wasomi watasema nini 
has not changed the pattern. Mungu hajabadilisha huo mtindo. What God did at Pentecost. Kile Mungu alichokifanya pale Pentecost. He keep on doing. Yakibindi azidi kukifanya hadi church ages close. Nyakati za kanisa ziishe. And we know the church ages are Na tunajua kwamba nyakati za kanisa zimeisha. So God must be doing something. Kwa hivyo Mungu lazima awe anafanya kitu kile tofauti kutoka kile alichofanya siku ya Pentecost. Eh give us 67 dash 2 to save time. Amen. 67 dash 2. What the church had kile kanisa lilokuwa nacho wakati wa Pentecost ni kweli right. Ni kweli ambazo ziwezi kubadilika. Originally Kimsingi, she had the pure alikuwa na neno God. safi la Mungu. Yes. Amen. Amen. Had the pure alikuwa na neno safi word of la God. Mungu. Amen. Amen. Now don't confuse. Sasa usiwezi utaradisha hapa. It may it didn't have the word in fullness. Kuenda kanisa alikuwa na neno katika utimilifu. But whatever it had, lakini chochote kilichokuepo was pure. Lilikuwa neno safi. Today, leo hii, the Omega Bride has the fullness of the word. Na utimilifu wa neno. And that fullness, na utimilifu huu, is pure. Ni neno safi. Do you see the point? So we are razo. looking at the quality. Kwa hivyo tunaangalia kiwango cha ubora. Not the quality of the word. Sio wingi wa neno. Amen. Amen. Now, she had the power alikuwa na uwezo the spirit waroho, manifested in diverse signs and wonders ukidhihirika katika ishara tofauti tofauti za maajabu na vipawa vya roho mtakatifu now you don't have to read that letters but now hapa tena tuendelee The original church was not organized by men. Kanisa la asili alikuwa limeunganishwa na binadamu. It was led by the Holy Ghost. Liliongozwa na Roho Mtakatifu. It wasn't very big. Halikuwa kubwa sana. It was hated and despised. Lilichukiwa na kukashiriwa. It was oppressed. Lilifinyiliwa. It was persecuted Lika and teswa hadi mauti. But it was true to God. Na lilikuwa kweli kwa Mungu. It was with the original word. Lilisimama wima na neno asili ni ule mtindo wake. Are you seeing that? Amen. Now, don't don't get led astray here. Sasa usiongozwe mbali. When I said that God and his ways never change. Nikisema Mungu na jia zake zibadiliki. I did not say that the church and its messengers could not change. Sisemi kwamba kanisa na wajumbe wake hawabadiliki. The church is in God. Kanisa si Mungu. Can change. Kwa hivyo anaweza badilika. But what I said was that nilichosema ni kwamba of the unchanging God. Kwa sababu Mungu asiyebadilika. With the unchanging ways. Na jia zake zisizobadilika. We can go back to the beginning. Toweza kurudi pale mwanzo. And see na tuone the first and perfect act of God. Tendo la kwanza kamilifu la Mungu. Then judge by that standard. Kisha tuweze kuamua kutumia hicho kiwango. That is how it is done. Hivi ndivyo inafanyika. The true church kanisa la kweli will always litajaribu try to be like the original. Ila wakati kuwa kama la asili pale pentekote. The true church of today kanisa la kweli la leo hii try to approximate litajaribu kabisa that early first one kukaribia lile la kwanza and the messengers to the churches na wajumbe katika makanisa the same spirit of God na wao yule yule wa Mungu ndani mwao try to approximate watajaribu kukaribia mtume paulo They won't be exactly like him. Hatakuwa kabisa kama yeye. The true messenger. Bali wajumbe wa kweli. The ones that come the closest to Paul. Watakuwa ni wale wanakaribia. Hatimaye it is the same alpha. Ni biarusi yule yule wa mwanzo ambaye amekuwa the omega. Biarusi wa wakati wa mwisho. Amen. Amen. Are we seeing that now? Tumai tuona hilo sasa. All right. Now Amen. as we build the thought. So tukijenga hili wazo. Of course in the first 30 minutes bado tunapimana maroho. Wajua katika dakika za kwanza 30 ni kupimana maroho. Like, Sema tu amina na utulie. Well. Kila kitu kitakuwa shwari. Baada ya kupimana maroho tutaendelea nzuri. <laughs> you know, I know that I'm doing introduction. Naweka tu tutaendelea. So tuendelee tuendelee kupimana Let's maroho continue. as we go forward. <laughs> hey, Because man. you know you have to find out where is the preacher going. Ni vyema uelewe mwelekeo wa mchungaji which is, which is quite okay. Ambao ni sawa kabisa. So, hivyo basi We can summarize and say Tutaweza kuweka muktasari kwa kusema on, on this introduction and say Kwa utagulizi na kusema The Alpha Bride Kwa babia harusi wa pale mwanzo the original doctrine of the Bible Anayo mafundisho yale ya asili ya kibiblia She had the original word Alikuwa na lile neno la asili Can we read that from uh, uh, let's go to slide 198 amen uh, let me just go to slide 198 tuangalie katika uh, maonyesho uh, uh, i can be able to 
Remember, Kumbuka, if that messenger John was a messenger of Malachi 4, mjube, Yohana, mjube, then the scriptures failed. Yalishitua, for it said, the earth would burn as a stubble, and the righteous would walk out upon the ashes of the wicked. Na wenye waki watawoka, yule ya, so, ya read it and wow. see if that is in right. But sawa. Jesus never said that. Lakini yesu he referred to Malachi 3. I will send Malachi my messenger before my face to prepare the way for me. That is yangu. exactly right. Hakika. Now, but remember, Sasa bali kumbuka, this other one, huyu mwingine, which other one? You believe you? Malachi 4 Malachi inne, was to restore the faith of the children imani ya ototo, back to the father. Irudi kwa baba zao. What does that mean? Restore lagi. the faith of the children imani ya ototo, back to the faith irudi kwa of imani the father. Ya baba zao. What is the faith of the father? Na, the original Biblia Bible. Ya asili. Amen. Are we getting that? Oh, nah, That's all that we are being told. Being restored to kwa the original Biblia Bible. Ya asili. So that if the Bible says if kwa kisema, no women preachers, wanawake wasihubiri. The Omega says Biarusi wa Omega anasema Amen. Amina. If the original Bible Biblia says asili kisema, women must keep hair, wanawake wadumisha mbele zao. Biarusi wa Omega anasema Amina. If the Bible says kisema, women ma, men must cut their hair, wanaume wenyewe nyewe wao. Biarusi wa Omega anasema Amina. Whatever the Bible says Chochote Biblia asili inasema baptism is in water by baptism kupitia kwa maji mengi. Give me 640402 paragraph 156. Amen. Uh, 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 640402 paragraph 156. Amen. You know, we are not being restored. To the method of receiving the Holy Ghost, the way it came on the day of Pentecost, we are being restored to the Bible doctrine that was there in the early church. The method of receiving the Holy Ghost may be different, but the result is the Bible, the Word of God, heaven and earth can pass away, but the Word shall always be. Are you thinking that? Right. Amen. Now, so here we say that. And he has well told us and promises these things according to the Bible. In many places, even the Old Testament promises in Malachi 4 uh, that how it would be in the last days. He would turn the hearts of the children back to the faith of the Father as the Pentecost of fathers. What is it? Original doctrine of the Bible, which is called the original one. That what it would do. At least up to there you can say, Amen. Amen. Let me see if that is true. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't it? Amen. That's the purpose of the restoration. We are being restored to the Bible. Why? Bible truths. Not lost in the, in the church ages. During the denominational ages, but when Malachi for come, he is going to restore that one in back to back into I mean back to to the Bible truth. Because there with the Ali Church. Please remember that. That is very very important. Amen. Amen. Now I want us to go to. 640705 Amen uh, uh, That is uh, Paragraph 100 <coughs> One to read there To sum it up 
uh, so that we can see kuona, what the prophet says. Kile ambacho nabii anasema. Now, listen Sasa, to this. This hii. comes from the message called the master. Hii inatoka kwa ujumbe unaoitwa ile ya kipeo. Now, the, why, why the title master? Sasa kwa nini kichwa cha ujumbe huu kikaitwa ile ya kipeo? Listen close. Eh? Sikiliza kwa makini. Just like Eve was taken out of Adam. Jinsi tu awa aliodolewa kutoka kwa Adam. The bride tree. Mti biarusi. Siku ya Pentecost. Siku ya Pentecost. Was taken from Christ. Uliodolewa kutoka kwa Kristo. Therefore we say. Hivyo basi tunasema Adam was the master. Adam alikuwa ndiye mkuu. And Eve was the master. Na awa ni kipande kilichoondolewa kwa ile mkuu. Eve was a master. Hivyo basi huyu awa akawa ni kipande kilichoondolewa kwa mkuu. Amen. Now the church on the day of Pentecost. Siku ya Pentecost. Was a piece. Kilikuwa kipande from her master Christ. Christ. Therefore she was the master. Akawa ni ile kipeo. The alpha bride Lakini was the master. Wa alpha akiwa ni kipeo. Omega bride must also be. Ni harusi wa omega pia. Lazima awe ni kile ile wa kipeo. Is it? Amen. Amen. Now, sasa a piece from the master. Kipande kutoka kwa ile ya kipeo has been made up of the same material. Lazima kitengenezwe na bidhaa ile ile. Like the master. Jinsi ambavyo yule wa kipeo alivyo. If the master is the original one wapo wa kipeo neno asili kipande chake pia ni neno asili you have heard of an expression in english you say usemi wa kimombo unaosema okay like, like if i was uh, a, a guitar player kwa mfano nikiwa mchezaji wa guitar and my son i don't know that he has gone and my son is also a guitar player mwanangu pia ni mchezaji wa guitar nikesema that is a piece from uh, that is a piece from the old block kwamba yule ametokana na leo ndio what i'm saying kwa maanisha kwamba that whatever characteristics in the son tabia unaoziona kwa mwanake it came from the father so the son is not different from the father na baba hawana tofauti kwa hivyo ya kipindi na maandisha kwa hivyo hapo ya kipindi alikuwa asili basi kipande chake lazima kiwe cha neno la asili sipose na tutana kile kinatochokana kipeo amen amen i will say something here nasema kitu hapa the master who was the original word aliyekuwa neno la asili david had prophesied of him and said daudi alikuwa ametabiri juu yake akasema i will not suffer mimi my holy one sitakubali to see corruption kuona mtakatifu wangu akiingia kwa uharibifu in other words kwa maneno mengine when the master was crucified wakati yule mkuu alipasulubishwa and he was buried na akazikwa he rose from the dead alifufuka kutoka kwa wafu before three days came to an end kabla siku tatu kuisha because kwa sababu prophet say nabii anasema corruption which is rotting uharibifu about kuoza unaanza masaa 72 baada ya kifo the reason why Lazarus the sababu Lazarus was had fallen in alikuwa ameanza kuoza kwa sababu ilikuwa siku ya 4 ba lakini Jesus came out Yesu alitoka kabla ya siku ya tatu kuisha it also tells you there na kuambia kwamba that the peace kwamba kipande which come from the master kutoka nacho na yule mkuu if the master iwapo mkuu could not see corruption hakiona uharibifu do he die licha ya kwamba alikufa the peace kipande chake from the master cha yule mkuu also not see corruption hakitaona uharibifu katika dakika za giza it will be kitakuwa resurrected kitavuka tena <laughs> amen whatever prophecy is for the chochote nabii wote ambao ni wewe prophecy you that is the way ambao ni kipande chake whatever the bridegroom does chochote mwana harusi anachokifanya bride must do bi harusi pia lazima afanye if the bridegroom wapo bwana harusi resurrected alifufuka the bride basi bi harusi lazima afufuke the works with the bridegroom kazi ambazo bi bwana harusi alifanya bi harusi also do the same works the ministry of the bridegroom ya bwana harusi must be repeated as the ministry of the bride ya bi harusi so it is called hiyo basi inaitwa ile ya kipeo. Are we singing together? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us now read here. Hebu tusome ujumbe huu. Now. Sasa you could go on and on with that. Tukielelea na kuendelea na hilo. If you have the picture of what I mean now. Lakini naamini mko na picha ya kile ambacho Building back his master. Mungu akijenga tena ile yake ya kipeo. But let us not forget that. Lakini tusisahau kwamba in the beginning. Pale mwanzo. When he smot the side of Adam. Alipochonga upande wa Adam. He took something from his side. Alichukua kitu kutoka upande wake. Now. Sasa the smiting of Christ was kule kugongo kwa Kristo kulikuwa ni kwa sababu my take from him ili kwamba ataondoka kutoka kwa yake to be a family moja kuwa jamii yule bi harusi he might take him a bride ataondoa bi harusi so when his masterpiece hivyo basi yake akifeo alikuwa mkalimilifu then he had to smile 
about it to take from him not another piece not another creation but the same creation my brother don't think bad at this but think a minute if he took from him the original creation to make the bride for him he never made another creation he took a part of the original creation then if he was one, what must the bride be it is got to be the original one living God in the world Hallelujah. Are you seeing that now? Amen. 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 So we see that one is Kwa very, very clear. Now, we want to see something here as we hapa. progress because we are now handling something Manake very, very important. And I know that God is going to help us as we look at what we are talking about uh, 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 now. Amen. So, we have agreed. Kwa Please, because I'm now living in the I want to fight. Now, we have agreed the alpha kwamba and the yule wa alpha omega na wa mwisho must be lazima the same wawe sawa naona kama kuna kuna watu hapa bado wana it's like there are few of us Amen. The alpha, yule wa alpha, and the omega, na omega must be wote lazima the same. Wawe wanafanana. Now I'm going to read a few Tazoma quotes uh, so that we are all together. I'm going kwa to kwa read kwa from the table. Tazoma kutoka kwa ujumbe. Hii ndatoa direct kwa table ni mseme labda alikarabati eh, quotes. Nataka tusome direct. Tusome moja kwa moja. Eh, tuone hii hii mambo iko namna gani. We see what we're talking about. So that we can we can be able to know. Ili tu kujua uh, what what it is all about kile ambacho tunazungumzia just let me look for some of these quotes and Amen. see all right uh, you all remember sote tukumbuka the prophet talked about something called the preview kile kionyesha kimbele of the bride cha biharusi amen amen and let me let me write that one that's Wata very important the uh, preview kile kionyesha cha mbele of the bride cha biharusi oh amen, amen. preview you know when you talk about the preview by the way you know I'm sorry I'm using this pen and maybe they could, I should I'm supposed to use this one Samad tukia kana kuja hapa sikunieleze ni sikina najua unaweza kwenda ugenini na you are misbehaving na ujui amen ama ni mfanya na mara gani I'm feel free amen all right <laughs> the preview yeah, no, no. This, is, this is green men are color blind so they may not see green amen let me just say the preview kionyeshi cha mbele uh, inaitwa preview ni kile kionyesha cha mbele of the bride chake biharusi mmezikia hiyo kitu amen all right don't forget usisahau although the alpha bride licha ya kwamba biharusi wa pale mwanzo is the same as the omega ni sawa na biharusi wakati wa mwisho their messages jumbe zao are different ni tofauti i'm going to read that i'll prove ilo, to you that tathibitisha hilo Amen. But at least we need to know Lakini tunafaa kujua angalau that the omega and the alpha ya kwamba biharusi wa pale mwanzo na wa mwisho the same. Wote wanafanana. Now uh, you can give us uh, give us uh, 64 0726m uh, paragraph 40. Amen. All right. Twende pole pole there is nobody chance si tuko hapa kesho slowly we have all the time kuna, kuna maneno there is no hurry eh Amen. si tuko paka kesho we are here until tomorrow hata 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 tunaweza hata endelea paka mani we may even extend <laughs> to mani <laughs> okay hata <laughs> tunaweza paka kesho amen all right Amen. let us see this now hebu tuone hili basi and remember nakumbuka the vision of last week lile ono la juma lilopita that when the bride came to be Kwa preview of it biharusi alikuja kionyesha chake cha mbele preview means kionyesha mbele na maandisha kuona bibi harusi seeing the bride 
vile atakavyokuwa akitokea baadaye kuonyeshwa kimbele inaitwa kuonyeshwa kimbele so the prophet was given a preview akapewa nafasi ya kuona kimbele to see this bride kumuona biharusi huyu how she will come jinsi atakavyokuja alright listen Amen. sikiliza there came up the little bride pakaonekana biharusi mdogo lovely makupendeza in the vision katika lile onyesho and i not thinking about it na kama si wazi jambo hili just sitting there watching outside nikiwa tu nimeketi pale naangalia nje now please remember you when you are reading the prophet's Kumbuka, message kumbuka unaposoma jumbe za nabii setting there mean sitting neno hili setting maana yake ni kuketi i hope you are with me all right yeah. don't understand the language atumai tunaelewa lugha ya nabii and they are come they are come the bride pale pakaono kana i had a voice by the side of me say nikasikia sauti kando yangu ikisema here hapa is a preview bana kionyesha mbele of the bride cha biharusi eh i want to show you katika maono in a vision vile how the biharusi atakavyo the bride will be okay and she came by na kapita I noticed the way I noticed her. Nikamtambua the way she was. Jinsi alivyokuwa. Very lovely. Alikuwa wa kupendeza. Pretty. Mrembo. Young. Like mchanga. She was walking just the step as alikuwa she. Alikuwa anatembea tu mwendo wa aste haste hatua kwa hatua. Not just in the stride of a woman. Akitembea tu kama mwanamke. How they walk gracefully. Jinsi like. wanavyotembea like, kama mwanamke. Mwanamke hapana kutembea tu pale. There is a lady should walk. There is a way a lady walk. Kwa njia ambayo mwanamke anafaa kutembea. Naona hiyo. Remember that. Kumbuka hilo. That is the way she was walking. Hivi ndivyo alikuwa akitembea. Coming to my left. Akija upande huu wangu wa this side. Wa huo. And she went out of my sight. Na akaenda akaenda mbali. Then he turned me to the right side. Kisha akanigeuza upande wa And he showed me each church as they come up out of the edge. Na akanionyesha kila kanisa linapotoka kutoka hapa kanisa. Oh, how vulgar. Na lo jinsi ilivyokuwa. So now oh, the, the first bride passed. She was. Yarusi wa kwanza kapita. Pretty. Huyo alikuwa kupendeza like mrembo akitembea kama binadamu kama binti. Akitembea kama. After that there came another woman. Kisha kutoka hapo pakana mwanamke mwingine aliyekuwa. And the last oh, one was This last day church alikuwa kanisa ile hivi majuzi which was led by a witch aliyeongozwa na mchawi huyu mwenye alitokea nao alikuwa anaongozwa na witch na mnajua mchawi ni nani and you know who the witch is eh mchawi si mnamjua witch you know anakaa wrong he sits away in wrong that witch you know hiyo hilo and they were so immorally dressed na alikuwa amevalia mavazi so filth looking ovu kabisa wa chafu they were marching to the time of twist and rock and walikuwa roll walikuwa kijenendeza kwa kujipindua pindua na women throwing themselves in twists na wakienda katika mitindo with holding ya just paper wakishikilia tu karatasi gray eh they were holding a gray paper Wakitam, in front of the private part karatasi and, and the paper was gray mbele zao and the prophet say gray is hypocritical nabii anasema rangi ya kijivu you know gray is between white and black wajua rangi ya kijivu ni baina ya nyeupe na kijivu ambao ni rangi inayopotosha kama una gray nguo ya gray please if you are wearing a gray clothes don't worry usijali atuzungumzi hii rangi ya kijivu ya nguo a parable sasa hii tu ni fungo ndio kusema hey god start saying now oh i am a hypocrite man no okay gray kwa hivyo either white nor black rangi ya kijivu it is deceiving kala nyeusi wala nyeupe ni rangi ya kutosha and the gray looking paper na holding in front of them ikishikiliwa mbele zao with less like yula skirts holding kwa kama skirt ya yula in front of them mbele zao and completely nude from their waist up uchi kabisa kutoka mbe and it was marching to the time of twisting na wakitembea wakijipinda na on with that music na wakienda na ile muziki wakienda and then he said na kisha akasema god told him mungu akamwambia that is the church sasa hilo ni kanisa and when it passed by me my heart like to faint moyo wangu karibu nizimie i thought nikafikiri if that is what is trying to be presented to christ as a bride hiyo biharusi anajaribu kupelekopea of all the efforts and things that man has put forth na zile jitihada na mambo ambayo binadamu amefanya try to bring forth a bride for christ karibu kumleta biharusi kwa jina la balka dati filth looking prostitute like that to be the bride of christ huyo ebi harusi 
wa Kristo it made me sick at my heart hii kanifanya nigonjeke moyoni mwangu and as she passed na alipopita after coming before where she was standing akitoka mahali alipokuwa she was holding the paper in front of her akishikilia kitikaratasi mbele zake twisting and rocking na kujipinda and pinda and moving her say one side and then the other side kirumba upande mmoja mwingine akienda the modern dances they have to one ambao ni watu wa using a cello in an immoral act akijitumia katika njia ovu kabisa akiendelea i'm not responsible for this thing mimi sichukumiki kwa mambo haya i say what i see siwezi kusema kile ambacho niliona god is my judge but that was the church of the united states lakini hilo nilikuwa kanisa la kule marekani now sasa as he passed by alipopita the hold back part had no covering at all sehemu yake yote ya nyuma ilikuwa uchi then as she passed by kisha alipopita i felt faint and sickly nikajihisi kama nazimia na kichefu chefu then he said kisha akasema the bride will come into preview again pia harusi atarudi kakionyesha mbele tena unaona yeah, okay amen and there Na and here ya, hapa the bride came behind her pia harusi akarudi akifuata ile kanisa kanisa bado ilikuwa katikati listen to this sikiliza the very same looking bright pia harusi anafanana kabisa that past na yule aliyekuwa ameanza amen amen all right amen then my heart jumped for joy kisha moyo wangu ukakuvunjika na furaha kujua there will be kwamba patakuwa na bride pia harusi mwingine and she was she will be made of the same thing na atatengenezwa na mambo yale yale and loved in the same thing na amevikwa kwa ile one was at the beginning she is to be called ataitwa and i know Nanajua. that is the truth if that is in the truth then every vision that i have had in the back was wrong has been wrong and no one knows that not one thing has ever been told to us but what was the truth it came to pass kweli hii ilitimia are you seeing that Amen. now now we go to Uh, we go to 640705 masterpiece amen paragraph 194 now the interpretation Sasa of the haya, vision ndio matafsiri ya ule no, lile ono we have read from tumesoma recognizing kutoa kwa your day and this message kutambua siku na ujumbe wake of the bride kile kionyesha bele ya harusi we are looking at sasa tunaangalia the inter je ni nini utafsiri wa kionyesha hiki cha kibele the interpretation now utafsiri wake now sasa here is the interpretation there of hapa kuna utafsiri wake now remember kumbuka i had just got through writing nilikuwa tu nimepitia kwa hadi finish i had read this maliza, notes yet sikuwa ni maliza kwa preaching this morning katika kubiri asubuhi ya leo i caught what it was right in my sermon nilinasa kilichokuwepo katika maubiri did you notice the yeah. church only came into view ulitambua kwamba kanisa zuri lionekana now that is the truth friend the heavenly father who writes the word knows that i tell the anaandika neno anajua kwamba i know i just say the truth nasema ukweli and not knowing it till just a few minutes ago na siku anajua hilo tunachacho just recently au hivi karibuni did you notice je mlitakuwa kanisa kwa tayari the bride come in view twice si harusi alionekana mara mbili i mean that mean alpha kumaanisha kwamba ni wa kwanza na omega wa mwisho and the two are exactly hao wawili walifanana now the first seed sasa begu ya kwanza and the second seed na begu ya pili both of them exactly the same one zote mbili zikifanana kabisa and the reason they were dressed in different parts na sababu walikuwa wamevishwa katika so although they were the same but they, they were different, they were different is because she will come from all nations yeye atakotoka kwa mataifa yote it will make up the bride yanatengeneza uh, biharusi now uh, sometimes this has asked us that uh, what is wrong with me wearing me wakati mwingine kinanana wanaduliza kwa nini nisivae makeup i challenge you this morning hebu angalia asubuhi ya leo sikiliza hii each one had long hair kila mmoja wao alikuwa na nywele ndefu and no makeup na hakuna mapodozi amen each one had long kila mmoja alikuwa na nywele ndefu and no makeup na hakuwa na mapodozi and really pretty girl alikuwa msichana wa kupendeza kabisa nasikia hiyo now that doesn't mean hii imaanishi at dada asitumie mafuta unajua sister don't use it nilienda kwa kanisa nyingine somewhere i went to another church somewhere pastor alikuwa anahubiri kwa hiyo kanisa ngaja alikuwa akihubiri 
umepatikana tu umepaka mafuta ya valon if you are found having applied valon utafukuzwa kwa kanisa you will be chased out so, of the church walikuwa wamekauka no sisters e, were looking ngo. dry the skin is dry almost brown the hair has become like wool imekauka tu kama makonga hey, nikashindwa ni nini <laughs> kumbe wameambiwa ati they be no, told yani according to him no make up kuna hakuna notion about that's not what we mean da, no atumanishi hivyo dada sister tumieni mafuta use uh, use even uh, well, perfume use uh, tumia perfect logo okay. lakini so, makeup ni zaza lakini mapodozi unachukua uh, kitu ya black you ama red ama yellow black material ama green, or yellowish inywele siju unapaka rangi gani unapaka unakata hizi vitu unapaka ni sasa hiyo ndio inaitwa makeup hii inaitwa mpodozi are you with me amen eh mpaka mtu akikuangalia until when someone looks at you unakanza fix that <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Fact that a prophet met a lady like that. Nabi wanted to pray for her. Alisema, oh "Ata kumuombea. My sister has cancer. Nabi wanted to know. She doesn't have cancer. Nabi wanted to have a makeup. 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 Listen close. Sikiliza. The bride that passed first. Aliaguka kwanza. Passed again. Ali alionekana. But the denominations in between. Lakini madhehebu hapa katikati. They just passed one. They are not even. Silienda sikiendanga kabisa. Asikuwa irudi. Hayakurudi tena. But the bride. Bali biharusi. Atarudi tena. Will come back again. Amen. Amen. That's what they are saying there. Amen. Okay? Amen. Then say only so you see which only comes in existence one abaya anaonekana wakati mmoja but the bride returns back again mali bi harusi anarejea the last day katika siku za mwisho i will restore mimi nitarejea see the masterpiece is brought up that is the reason she was in view or she was reviewed the second au alirudi mara ya pili she was reviewed the first time alionekana mara ya kwanza she was perfectly the second time she akao mkabilifu wakati wa pili ah uh, and she was perfectly the second time Mali like she was the first time, time. Wa oh god have mercy hey, mungu, hurry, hurry 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 life haraka, haraka, get haraka, in the grave right Buje. quick hivi karibuni uh, are we there amen all others wengine wote never appeared no more hawakuonekana tena they went out waliondoka never to come back again tena but the bride Mali ya rusi came back alirudi because kwa sababu she was alikuwa alpha ni wa alpha and na omega ule omega amen. amen god the great sculptor mungu yule mchongaji mkuu has made him a masterpiece amemtengeneza kipande cha kipeo a piece of his first masterpiece
around this time building it up again and he brought forth this masterpiece and was smitten in order that part that was smitten was in order to bring back again the, the, I mean that masterpiece again are we, are we, are we seeing that? Amen. alright let us go to uh, 111 of the same message masterpiece amen now Sasa. as he started in abraham Ibrahim, after the fall of the first master he started in abraham on a foundation to build another masterpiece he started on the day of pentecost ya to build another masterpiece the original seed ya the original one started in the first child what was it nini? the seed Word, the word manifested the promise that had been given Joel say shall come to pass in the last day says God I will pour out my spirit on all flesh your sons and daughters shall prophesy you are all you are all a man shall dream dreams your young man shall see vision what he would do in the last day the last two thousand years and when the bible say in the last days I will pour out my spirit that word last day cover two thousand amen are we using that alright let's continue notice it started out as the original as Jesus said the word of God is a seed that a saw a sword and he was the saw the, saw. the seed was the word and notice any seed that abides alone never does nothing are we there amen. it is got to fall into the ground to bring forth its production again. And this seed, that perfect child, fell to the ground at Nikea Road when she became a denomination. Now, historians remember, you that is going to hear this step, check it up and find out if that is not right. The church died at Nikea Rome when she took dogmas and creeds instead of the original word. What was it? God had showed by that first church that he was God. He had a church perfected. But the church like all other seeds must fall into the ground and die. Now if it fell into the ground and die and wasted away uh, uh, and then we go to because of time amen uh, let us go to 116 it died in the dark ages down beneath the dark dirt they thought it was gone you know St. John 12 24 Jesus said except a corn of wheat falls into the ground it abides alone and the first church was that reproduction that bride that seed that word made manifest that fell into the ground at Nikea Listen church throughout the nations that will hear this. There is your dad is them denominations. There is where the word was crucified and they accepted dogma and for hundreds and hundreds of years of dark ages the power and manifestation of the word was hid from the word. Only Catholicism ruled only Catholicism rule. We know all that as reading history. Only Catholicism rule. But you can't hide 
a jamitized seed bali uwezi kuificha mbegu iliyokuwa kuu mbegu hiyo the alpha bride was jamitized alikuwa ametiwa nguvu so kwa hivyo basi uwezi kuficha that jamitized seed mbegu iliyotiwa nguvu it's got to come forth because why ichipuke kwa sababu red sculptor yule mchungaji mkuu ako kazi is going to build again the seed went down the wall mbegu ilienda chini neno uh, 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 like that so yeah. then we see uh, i'm not going to read uh, a lot of it that uh, um, let, let us go to I want now to show you something. Uh, just in a little while. Amen. We are doing pretty well. Amen. Time wise. Amen. Uh, hey, we have a lot of time. Relax. Amen. To see na haraka. Amen. You know that minute is a lot. Ndaka uh, ni muda mrefu. please don't worry. Amen. Uh, we shall still make it. Tutawahi. And I want to say something here. So that we are all together. Amen. All right. Uh, let me go to my notes here. <coughs> so, from Genesis chapter 1. So, hivyo basi, from what we have said up to now. Kutokana na kile ambacho tumesema hadi sasa. As we lay the background. Tunapoendelea kuweka msingi. You agree with me? Tutakubaliana nami? We are saying kwa sababu tusema the alpha bride. Bi harusi wa pale alpha and the omega bride. Na bi harusi wa pale pale mwisho. Ah, hawa wote wanafanana. Hiyo tuone mikono hiyo kama ni kweli. Hiyo tumeona. Agree together. Amen. Very good. Amen. Number 2. Cha pili. We want to say now. Tungependa kusema sasa. In the next 30 minutes before you close. Kwa dakika ya pata 30 kabla kufunga. Although the alpha kwa baliche ya kuwa alpha and the omega brides are the same. Na biharusi wa omega wako sawa. The message of the alpha bride ujumbe wa biharusi wa wakati wa mwanzo does not work haufaji kazi for the omega bride kwa biharusi wa wakati wa mwisho you know it's a difficult concept to to pass across eh? wajua hii ni dhana ngumu kidogo kuweza kuieleza you have the same thing kwamba uko na kitu kinachofanana ndio but uh, how to restore one lakini jinsi ya kurejesha kimoja The message is different. Ujumbe wake ni tofauti. Amen. Amen. Please that's very important. Hii ni muhimu sana. And this part is now very critical. Na sehemu hii sasa ndio muhimu zaidi. And I want us to understand. Na tukipenda tuielewe what the difference is all. Tofauti yake about. Iko wapi? There is a difference. Pana tofauti mahali. Now for us to understand. Sasa kwetu sisi kuelewa the difference between the alpha bride. Tofauti baina ya biharusi wa alpha Now you know I have said Wajua, nimesema, the alpha bride <laughs> alpha and the omega bride wa omega are exactly wote wanafanana kabisa the same. Amen. but now here what I hear what I'm saying lakini sikiza kile ambacho nitasema the difference between <laughs> tofauti baina the alpha bride ya wa alpha and the omega bride biharusi wa omega it looks contradictory sasa hii inaonekana kama inakinzana just be patient lakini tulia tu all right amen The problem is the okay the difference is this tofauti ndio hii the omega bride biharusi wa wakati wa mwanzo cannot fall hawezi kuwa abiyakuto hawezi kuwa aguka amen yani iko hivi this is the difference let me put it this way wacha niweke hivi katika maandishi now here is the omega the Hapa, alpha kuna biharusi wa wakati wa mwanzo and then kisha it fell akaaguka chini Now when we go to restore it tunapoenda kumrejesha huyo biharusi and put it here na tumrudishe hapa we are saying tunasema this one will never huyo aliyerejeshwa hata wahi kuanguka amen They are the same ni sawa ndio but the omega lakini huyo will never fall wahi kuanguka <laughs> are you getting that? Waona hilo? So that means kwa hivyo hii inamaanisha the omega receives a certain message bi harusi wa omega anapokea ujumbe fulani that prevents her from falling. Unaomwezesha asianguke. Which the alpha never received. Hapa bi harusi wa pale alpha had the alpha received that message. Bi harusi wa alpha alipokea ujumbe hangeweza kuanguka. Hapo tukapo moja. That's why you are saying the messages are Kiposa tunasema kwamba jumbe za are different tofauti amen 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 i hope i hope there 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 now there we are giving sasa tuko pamoja tunakubaliana so kwa hivyo the alpha bride ya ruzi wakati wa alpha 
And the Omega are the same. Na pia ruhusu wa Omega wanafanana. But Ila. the Alpha fell. Biaruzi wa Alpha liaguka. And when it was restored, it became Omega, and it will Omega, never fall again. So tena. the question is: so If Alpha and Omega Uyo are the alpha same, na Omega wanafanana diyo. And the Omega is incapable of na falling. Omega hawezi kwa and the Alpha is capable of falling. Kwa alpha naweza kwa what is done je, to the Omega that prevents it from falling that was ye, never ye, done to the Alpha? that you made it to fall. Eh? Are you getting that way? There is a message for the Omega that was never done. The Alpha. The Alpha. To answer that question, we should first of all ask ourselves, why in the first place did the Alpha fall? Now, that is a question. Then when we get an answer, then we shall understand why Omega can never fall. Are you with me there now? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Amen. He si si pombe hi ni liquid gas to to keep on oiling the throne. I have to that I don't lose my voice by tomorrow. Kunyosha. Eh, so just allow me to 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 onge the kidogo. Na zingi ne wa mnyo wa nishanga. I want to hold one kunyo bitugani ya pombere. Amen. Amen. It's just uh, magi and dimu magi mixed with dimu. the honey Amen. prepared by a believer. Talio, uh, there is hapa. nothing. Hakuna machosi ya simba hapa. Amina. All right. Amen. Now, now. Sasa. Let me get my notes. Now. Amen. I have several notes. You will be patient with me. Eh, mtavu amelia nami. Eh, niko na notes nyingi. Niko na nuku kada wa kada. Now, sasa. In order to understand. Ili tuelewe. Why the Alpha Bride fell? Ni nini kilichomfanya biarusi wa Alpha kuanguka? Let us understand why Eve fell. Ebu tuelewe awa alianguka kwa nini? Because kwa sababu Eve awa is a prefigure of the church. Nikionyesha chambele cha biarusi. Oh, is a prefigure of the Alpha Bride. Nikionyesha chambele cha biarusi. And Adam is a prefigure of Christ. Na Adam akawa kionyesha chambele cha Kristo. Are you are you, are you following that? Amen. All right? Amen. So stay around now. Ebu sasa Put on your joy shoes and the anointing jacket and stay with me. Amen, amen and amen. So we shall go to the third seal. Uh, 630320. And we shall go to paragraph 95. Amen. Amen. I want to find out why did if fall. Listen to this carefully. Now, now, notice. Sasa, sasa tabua. We've lost that the message. Background. That one was an introduction. Although kuna watu walilala kidogo ni kanotis watu wawili. Kuna wachache walilala lakini sawa. Labda ni tawawona after service ni wawonya kabisa mambo ya kulala. I'll talk to them after them. Mambombaya sana. Again, labda walikuwe walimetha dawa na okay, or they had a difficult night. Amen. Okay. Amina. Now, now, notice. Sasa, sasa tambua. The natural woman fell. Yule mwanamuke wakawainda lianguka. You know we have a natural woman. Kwa jotu na mwanamuke wakawainda and a spiritual woman. And God made a way for her to be redeemed. Although she had fallen, he made a way. Now that was the first bride on earth fell before her husband mewe and her were married. There is the mystery. Amen. Eve fell simply because she was not married to Adam. Hakuolewa na mewe Adam. 
That is one of the most difficult concepts to pass across because Kwa harusi huwa tunasema na Mungu akamfanya Adam akalala na akatoa ubafu wake na akamtengeneza mke na akamleta na akauliza Adam huyu ni nani Adam akasema bone of my bone fupa fupa flesh of my flesh I will call her mtamuita woman and for this reason na kwa sababu hii which reason the reason that she came from sababu hii ambayo ubafu wa man live his father and mother shall live his wife and live unto his wife and then twain shall be one flesh then Paul say this is a great mystery I'm not talking about this natural Adam and the natural woman Eve but I'm talking about Christ and the bride Christ and the church Christ and the alpha bride alright now so when we say they were not one on a jua ndugu na tuchanganya because our watu waliishi pamoja these people live together wakaza watoto they gave birth to you they were not married what are you what do you mean unamanisha nini these people watu hawa were never married hawaku wamewana look at me I'm also looking at you they were never married so the woman fell before they were married and I know you are asking if they were not married what were they they were just engaged they were not married had they been married the woman would never have fallen they were not married that's where the problem is hallelujah Amen. i'm going to explain that because uh, 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 that, that, that is very interesting all right Amen. now give me uh, a <laughs> uh, let us go to to 62 03 18 the spoken word is original seed amen uh, paragraph 4 hundred and fourteen amen. amen it's called the law of reproduction all right now i'm not going to read that let us go down because Sita i will come to manake, uh, okay okay just go down uh, uh, uh -huh. I, will, I will read the other letter amen let's go to forward the next one is for yeah for 15 amen now listen close the first son that is Adam was spoken seed word of God he was given a bride forget about what is in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the brackets a bride to produce himself Adam Adam to produce himself she fell the bride was was given to produce himself again another son of God but she fell by hybriding See, to produce himself but she fell and cost him to die Amen. let's go on the second son this is the one that people the second son you know who that is that's Christ who is a spoken seed word of God was given a bride like Adam Adam but before he could marry her she had fallen also but now I hope we are agreeing now so we can say if fell because they her and Adam were not married Amen. 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 the alpha bride fell because she was not married to Jesus Christ had she been married he would not have fallen now my question is why is it that the omega cannot fall 
Omega hawezi kuaguka. Anda jibu. Because for the first time. Kwa mara ya kwanza. Omega Bride. Yaruzi Omega. Is married. Ameolewa. Ai Kristo. Hallelujah. I hope you are. Therefore there is a mystery of marriage in restoration. That for restoration to be complete. It must involve marriage. Without marriage there is no restoration. Hakuna marejesho. Kwa maana we are all together. Kwa pamoja kwa hilo. If the church is shout hallelujah. Amen. There is the mystery. Amen. Siri iko hapo. Amen. All right. Amen. In other words, kwa maneno mengine. Before Adam got to Eve, kabla ya Adam kumfikia Hawa, Wa with me? Atumaitu kwa pamoja. She had already fallen. Hawa alikuwa tayari ameanguka with the serpent. Pamoja na nyoka. Amen. Amen. Before Christ, kabla ya Kristo, got to the alpha bride. Kumfikia bi harusi wa pale alpha. She had fallen. Alikuwa tayari ameanguka with Constantine. Na Constantine. Unaomba kwa sababu ni the Roman. Unajua yule mrumi anaitwa Constantine. Huyo na serpent hakuna tofauti. Are we together? Sarwa na serpent are the same. Amen. Eh? Don't blame the serpent blame Constantine. Let Eve blame the serpent for you. Blame Constantine. And I am just saying that so that you can get what. Nasema tu hilo ili tuweze kuelewa somo. So we see here a mystery. That the first bride. The reason why she fell. The alpha bride. Is because she was not married. Now, sasa before the husbands could get to her kabla ya mmewe kumfikia okay let me let me read something here acha nisome kitu kingine hapa so that uh, we are together ili tuwe pamoja it can be very confusing i know hii huenda iwe ya kutatanisha kidogo let's go to the fourth seal Give me 6330321 paragraph 200 and I don't know whether we shall get to 16 in the, this table but that's okay. Amen. To 16 or there about. Amen. Which says we brought them women it may not be to it will begin somewhere around there. Uh, in uh, the fourth seal 6330321. There we are. Uh, very good very good there Amen. we are are you are you ready all right <clears throat> we brought them women last night tuliwaleta hawa wanawake jana and showed that na tukuonyesha kwamba how that eve jinsi hawa the first bride biharusi yule wa kwanza before her husband ever got to her kabla ya mewe kuwahi kumfikia yes i with me amen She fell Aliaguka by dis disbelieving God's word in Eden. Kule Eden. Yes. Now listen. Skiliza. The spiritual bride wa that was born, born on the day of Pentecost Aliyezaliwa siku ya Pentecost before he could get to her. Kabla ya kumfikia yeye. Yes. Who are you to say that Christ got to her? Wewe nani kusema kwamba Kristo alifikia? Inasema this one is before Christ could ever kabla ya Kristo kuwahi kufikia yeye. What happened? Nini kilifanyika? She fell. Alianguka at Rome. Kule Rome. Bana azivue sana. Amen. Nikikupata tu unafikiria mambo ya lunch nitakutupa nje hii. Don't think about lunch for now. Because we are about to summarize all this session. Kwa sababu kutamatisha kipindi hiki cha kwanza. Amen. Amen. Now we can see here. Kwa hivyo hapa tuona eh uh, something here. Kitu hapa. Okay. <coughs> Let's go to the second seal again. Turudi kwa ujumbe wa mhuri wa pili tena. Which is uh, 630319. Amen. Let's get paragraph 167. I have, so that you don't say I just read from one prisoner. Hii iko kwa ujumbe kila mahali imekapa kila mahali. This one is all over in the message. 
Now listen close. Sikiliza kwa makini. Now, sasa this time wakati huu the spiritual woman yule mwanamke wa kiroho the bride of Christ yule biharusi wa Kristo started on the day of Pentecost alianza siku ya Pentecost with the early apostolic church na kanisa lile la kwanza la kiapostolic lost the same thing at the Nikea kanzo alipoteza jambo lile lile katika baraza la Nikea you know that is right li wajui yuko kweli at the Nikea kanzo katika baraza la Nikea when she swapped her spiritual birthright alipobadilisha haki yake ya kiroho Constantine's big churches ili achukue makanisa makubwa ya Constantine and things that he offered them there na mambo mengine aliyopewa pale and she sold out her scripture of birthright na akauza haki yake ya kiroho for a bunch of roman dogma kwa ajili ya kikundi cha mafundisho ya kirubi that is hard on the catholic sasa hii ni ngumu kwa the protestant has done the same lakini wa protestant pia wamefanya jambo hilo hilo are represented in the bible here as a daughter of the harlot of, of the war wanawakilishi wa biblia oh. hapa kama binti za yule kama exactly mtu right. unaona everyone of them no excuses kila mmoja wao hakuna uhuru out of there bali kutoka pale has been a little remnant kila wakati kumekuwa na kizalio along that goes to make the bride inachoendelea endelea kutengeneza biharusi taja you ready amen notice angalia she lost her birthright alipoteza haki yake ya kuzaliwa before kabla ya has been made to her kumfikia tuona before kabla the wedding ya ile harusi she lost alipoteza haki yake Now we see here another word instead of marriage now is called what? a wedding. Dinaitwa harusi. Amen. Amen. Therefore, Hivyo basi, I want you to see tuone, the message for the Omega bride. Kwa ujumbe wa biharusi wa wakati wa mwisho. Should target one thing. Unafaa kulenga kitu kimoja. Wedding. Jaharusi. Marriage. Ndoa. If that happens, the Omega bride will never come. Because they had for fair. Because there was no wedding. Hapakuwa na harusi. There was no marriage. Hapakuwa na ndoa. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So in other words, kwa neno mengine, we expect that tunatarajia kwamba the only way jia ya pekee the church can be restored kanisa kurejeshwa there must be a wedding. Lazima pawepo na harusi. Amen. Amen. That one we, shall, we are going to show you in a little bit while. Ili tuliona katika muda usiokuwa mrefu. Let's go back to the third seal. Turudi kwa ujumbe wa muhuri wa kwanza. 630320. Amen. Let's go for let's go to paragraph. Uh, let us go to paragraph 107. One or seven, all right. I hope one or seven is there. Yes. Okay, there we are. Now. Amen. We, now, but God full. Okay, no, no. Now we notice that God. Okay. Amen. Now, sasa, we notice that. Totabua kwamba. No, you know, you remember when Eve fell? Wajua hao alipoanguka. Church are you together? Kanisa tuko pamoja. When Eve fell, hao alipoanguka. God came from heaven speedily. Mungu alitoka mbinguni kwa haraka. And he made a promise to Eve. Na akafanya ahadi kwa Hawa. That I will restore you. Kwamba nitakurejesha. All right? Amen. And listen close. Sikiliza kwa makini. We notice that God told Eve. Tutatambua kwamba Mungu alimwambia Hawa, after so long a time. Baada ya muda mrefu, the word is coming back to you. Neno litarejea kwako tena. Now, sasa, how did she fall? Alianguka vipi? I want my class to say Nikipenda na nazo langu lisema What did she fall from? Aliagua kutoka kwa nani? Kwa nini? What did he fall from? Je, hawa aliagua kutoka kwa nini? The word. Ni neno. Is that right? Ni kweli? The word. Ni neno. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, uh, she was supposed to receive the word. Alifaa kukubatia neno. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, she was supposed to be united with the word. Alistahili kuunganika na neno. She was supposed to marry the word. Alistahili kulioa neno. She was supposed to wed with the alisaili kufanya harusi na neno and only adam had na ni adam pekee the word alikuwa na hilo neno before he could come to her he kabla ya kumjia alikuwa tayari ameanguka uko na mimi amen 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 
And God said, Na Mungu akasema, He would make a way to kukia. redeem her ya kukomboa back to the word again. Arudi kwa neno tena. All right. Ma'am. After so long, baada ya a time. Muda mrefu. That's very important because Hii. it was not going to be something ya haraka haraka. Halikuwa jambo la kutokea haraka. After so long, baada ya muda mrefu. Amen. Listen, Skipa. the word would be known Neno to her. Alright. The word would come for one purpose now. Neno kwa moja sasa. Hold it tight now. Shikilia hapo. What I'm saying. Kili ambacho nasema. The word would come to her Neno for one purpose. Kwa moja. That was for Kusudilo di redemption. Ukombozi. But until then Lakini hadi wakati uo she had a substitute alikuwa na chabadala that would work ambacho kingefanya kazi and the time arrived hadi wakati for the original kwa neno la asili now you understand clearly see, he told her the word would come to her again but until that time he uo, gave her a substitute until that time ambacho kinge arrived kingeshikilia hadi wakati huo okay now, now so let us go let us go to 122 you know, I'm, I'm saving time because I'm just hitting the time kwa kwa munda now watch hebu tazama now Sasa. Eve was promised this hawa aliahidiwa hili but when that bride come on down lakini wakati bi harusi huyu anaposhuka chini and refuse alikata when the real word came to her wakati neno halisi limjia so the woman refused kwa hiyo mwanamke akakataa to recognize the, the, the to recognize the hebrew bride kutambua bi harusi so she was the bride wa, of god kwa kuwa alikuwa he eh, put her away in divorcement akamtema nje karika la that right yeah. she was the bride Alikuwa of god biaruso now listen Skiliza. if fail how ali aguka and god say na mungu akasema the word will come back to you neno litakurejea tena and for sure na kwa hakika the word made flesh neno likifanyika mwili came to a woman called the hebrew bride likamrejea biaruso aitoe biaruso wa kiibrania you know the hebrew bride kwa jua biaruso wa kiibrania nani she rejected the word again katalilo neno tena and crucified jesus na kusulubisha yesu Mungu akasema hasa watu ndio wana mnaga. What's wrong with these people? Then he got another bride on the day. Akapata bi harusi mwingine. Siku ya Pentecost. Then Alafu. she again then God knew that she would fall. Mungu akajua pia huyu ataanguka. We are going to see that later. See that? God knew she would. Mungu alijua kwamba ataanguka. So God promised Mungu akaahidi that this word will also come back. Kwa sababu neno hili litarudi tena to you kwa kwa made flesh. Nikifanyika mwili. Are we there? Amen. Now so you say okay. She was a bride of god alikuwa bi harusi you say well Waona, was no. never married yet hakuwa ameolewa bado dio that's right hiyo ni kweli but joseph bali yusufu put mary away alitema mmoja or was going to put mary away before they was married kabla ya waone he was engaged alikuwa to her amepozana naye even adam was engaged hata adam alikuwa to adam wamepozana na adam jesus Awa. christ yesu christu was engaged alikuwa amepozana to the bride na bi harusi and you know the engagement of that was paul now jua yule ambaye aliwapoza ni paulo sio unajua hiyo you know that eh, that is found in second corinthians let's read then we come Inapaj- second corinthians chapter 11 kwa korintho wa 2:11 eh, look at verse 2 angalia mstari wa 2 paul saying here paulo anasema hapa so i am jealous over you with godly jealousy kwa kuwa na wivu na ule wivu wake i have espoused you kwa or kuwa engaged mwapoza, you au na mwapoza one husband kwa mmoja that i may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. but i see lakini nachelea less by any means kwa kwa jia yote ile as the serpent beguiled eve to do his subtlety kwa hila yake so your minds should be corrupted if you come ni azenu zaribika the simplicity kutoka kwa urahisi that is in christ uliyo kwenye kristu by constantine kwa ule constantine i just added that one there for you to get it are we there now <laughs> so you can see what happened so that church the church on the day of pentecost was not married alikuolewa it was engaged nilikuwa tu nimepozwa let's go back now to our quarters we, i know i'm about to feel that we can go for lunch nakaribia okay. kutamatisha ili tuende kwa mapumziko so and when he come na anapokuja the word that he promised come for na neno liloahidi litakuja kwa ajili ya and when he come na anapokuja and the word that he promised na neno liloahidi lije kwa the word came for neno likuja kwa the wedding ile harusi wakati Yesu alionekana kwa Wayahudi alikuwa amekuja kwa ajili gani harusi he had come for a wedding 
Yes. Are we together? Amen. Siku hii today neno limeteremka mlima sunset. The word has come down from the mountain has come for what? The arusi. For our wedding. Amen. On the day of Pentecost. Kabla neno literemke kwa arusi. Alikuwa ameanguka huyo msichana. The bride had already come. Siku ya leo neno limekuja kwa ajili ya nini? Arusi. For our wedding. The marriage of the lamb. Ile arusi ya mwanadamu. Let us reject us be glad and rejoice. For now the wedding of the lamb has come. The purpose of the world coming is for marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me see your hands without the Amen. 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 So now here we have seen the secret. That marriage or the wedding is what preserves the bride from falling. And we have already seen that the alpha bride fell and there is a promise of restoration. Now if God just picks up the alpha bride listen using the same message ile ile she will fall again huyu bi harusi ataanguka kwa mara nyingine therefore god is going to use mungu atatumia a message of a wedding ujumbe wa harusi message of marriage ujumbe wa doa to restore the alpha bride so that the omega will be married the omega must have an invisible union between the bride and the bridegroom that invisible union is what makes the only omega not to fall. You believe that to be true? Amen. So we shall continue in the afternoon. Hallelujah. Let us stand on our feet. Amen. We want to go for a prayer. It's now 10 past 1. And I want to fall exactly the way I was told. Amen. I want to sing for you a song. Amen. I want to sing for you a song. I want to stand a song. Then we shall sing together. When I sing, just be quiet. You feel good. Amen. There's going to be a meeting in the air. I want to sing. How many people are looking forward to the meeting in the air? Amen. We are looking forward to having a meeting in the air. And now, the singer is saying here, you have heard of little Moses in the bulrush. You have heard of fearless David and his children. You have heard the story told of dreaming Joseph and of Jonah and the whale you offense. There are many, many others through the battle. I should like to meet them all I do. By and by the Lord will surely let us meet them. Bwana ataweza kunifanya niwakutane nao katika ule mkutano mawinguni. There is going to be a meeting in mkutano kule mawinguni. Sweet, sweet. By and by. Katika ile njia tam tam. I'm going to meet you, meet you over there. Mtakutana nawe, nawe kule. Beyond the sky. Katika nyumba iliyo kule mawinguni. Singing you here never had by motor. Kuiba about maiba hapa. Atasikika tena. Kama ule utukufu about atangaza. God son son. Na mwana wa Mungu mwenyewe ataongoza katika huo mkutano kule mawinguni. I will love that meeting. As we now go now and watch the world come. Hallelujah. Amen. I love little Moses in the bull rush. You have heard of fearless David and his sling. You have heard the story that Joseph and of Jonah and the willard often sing. There are many, many others through the Bible. I should like to meet them, I do declare. By and by the Lord, at the meeting in the Oh, there is going, there is going to be a meeting in the air. The sweet, sweet by I'm going to meet you, meet you over there in the beyond the sky. Start singing.
Even the dreaming Joseph, he will have a wonderful time of fellowship. Will it not be wonderful? Hallelujah. To us, we praise him. Oh, my heart sings today, sings for joy and love. Jesus says, Sanford punishes my son. Yes, guilty man, this is mine. He's like to a river. Jesus is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. Once a lot, it's to me. Mighty all is he. Saving me and keeping me from our sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise his name. Once a slave, now I'm free, free from condemnation. Jesus lives, liberty. And the full salvation, now the sins of the past have been all forgiven. And my name is inscribed on the book of the sea. Wonderful, wonderful, Jesus is to me. Counselor, Prince of Peace, mighty God is He. Saving me and keeping me from your sin and shame. Oh! 
Oh, what change is a thought in my lowly station Since my soul has raised it full and free so Sing wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me Cancel our Prince of Peace The mighty God is He Saving me and keeping me from all sin and shame Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name Wonderful Jesus is to me Cancel our Prince of Peace Saving me and keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise Precious Heavenly Father, you are wonderful. We thank you for sending us a prophet to reveal the mysteries of God that were in the back parts of your mind. As we gather here, Father, during this Easter to commemorate we pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, reveal to us the deep things that belong to you. And Father, through the word that has returned to us, may we be united, may we be wedded, and married to this word Jesus Christ Yesu Christ the same yesterday yule, yule jana hata thank you Father Asanti, Baba, for planting a bride tree on the day arusi, of Pentecost although the tree dies just like any seed must go into the ground and die before it can come up and produce itself we thank you because there sababu. is a promise of restoration and you have said umesema, I will and this being Easter, Na this masaka. is a commemoration Hayani of maradibisho. a resurrection. It is a restoration. Hayani Heavenly Father, Baba Bingu. there are some in this congregation watu mwetu. may require restoration. Maybe their health Labda afya yao. is failing. Inafifia. But Lord, when you Lakini look in their wana, hearts, they they desire wana tamani. good health to be restored. So we come against the devil. In the name of Jesus, the devil of sickness, be it high blood pressure, the devil of sickness, be it diabetes, be it cancer, be it back trouble, be it stomach trouble, whatever sickness it is, Father, we come against that in the name of Jesus Christ. And we say, Lord, restore our health, Father, that the devil has stolen away, restore it to us. It is Easter again. It is a time of restoration. It is a time of resurrection. Heavenly Father, there could be some people here alone. Their marriages are not just working. They require restoration. This is the time, Lord. Restore, Father. Enjoy the couple once again. Restore the marriage. Restore family life. May they enjoy the family life through the restoration by the Holy Spirit. Some have lost their jobs. Restore our job even sadder. Much more even like the first than the first one. May your name be magnified. You are the Lord who can restore. And we can enforce a claim to restore that which the devil has stolen. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you
your heart. We thank you because you are one of prayer and worship. Thank you for the word. This we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the church said, you may be seated for this reason. God bless you. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to welcome if the deacon have an announcement uh, to come over and give an announcement as we wait for the next session. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Bless you. You can go ahead. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we've come to the end of the service this uh, time uh, so that we go for the break of lunch, and uh, which we said that it will not take a lot of time because we want to give ourselves to the Lord to listening to the word. So I will request the ministers, uh, Brother Waweru, you can take the ministers to the pastor's room. Uh, uh, they can have their lunch because after, after prayer and uh, deacons and officials and uh, you, you'll go to the cry room where you will take your lunch and the rest of us we shall line up here to take up our lunch so let's pray Father in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you and worship you for how good you are to us. You've used the minister in a very pertinent way. And we thank you for the service. You've used his lips to pass your word to us. Father, we thank you. We commit all that came here and who are here now. Father, in your name, may you bless them, Lord. We commit even the lunch that is there for us. May you bless it, Lord. Sanctify it, Lord. That we get it. That we should get the energy to say thank you and bless you more. In Jesus' name. So as we sing uh, this uh, dismissal song, uh, we can go to the places where I have said and the and the, uh, the deacons officials from Kekuyu Church here you go to the cry room you will be directed there where you will have a lunch from the rest of us we will line up here we shall be served out praise the Lord song number 29 sorry 28 let me walk blessed Lord let me walk, blessed Lord, in the way Thou hast gone, leading straight to the land above, giving cheer everywhere to the sad and the lone. Fill my way every day with love. Oh, fill my way every day with it love as I walk with the heavenly dove and let me go all the while with a song and a smile fill my way every day with love and keep me close to the side of my Savior and guide let me never